Oh, there's another one of them side hills. I guess I should have stayed on that line. <laughs> how the side hills are done and a vector. Okay. I do believe this is all working. I am folded up now. So maybe I can show you guys why I'm folded up. It's because this thing is 125 feet wide. I just shortened it by about 40 feet. So now it's only 80 feet wide and I can get down into some places like down here. Make sure I stay in second gear. This is gnarly, maybe one first gear. Yeah, first gear. Okay. Floor it. I got the jig brake on on my foot. So down here, oh, I gotta delete this. So 1,057 acres is how many I have to do. Let's delete the field boundary. Over here, delete. Yes. Okay. There we go. All right, now, <laughs> look how low that thing is. So, right here is a spot that's just too skinny for us to farm it uh, with the 125 foot thing. Right here, I just couldn't quite reach. So I'm going through here just to spray this. Second gear, come on. There we go. Now this thing is coming down. I don't know what you can see right there, but I made it through it. Now, once I get right up here, I can unfold again because there's nowhere else in this field that I need to be this thin. All right, there we go. So I'm just gonna pull right down here. It's kind of flat at the bottom of this hill. Right here, and I'm gonna lift up. Lift up this, up, 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 and then go out with the boom. Outer, out. It's really slow. What happened? There you go. Come on, come on, little girl, old girl, little girl. Come on, little girl. Come on, little girl, come on! <laughs> I don't think that's the song. <laughs> it doesn't sound good. It's a bad song, I agree. Mm, so it's starting to rain. I think I still got uh, no roundup on me. I'm still trying to just spray. Outer, out, outer, inner, out. There we go. I'm just trying to spray the Roundup uh, tomorrow, I guess. I'd like to finish this field. Okay, I'm turning on my auto booms. Ba doom, ba doom, ba doom. And here we go. Turn on my master switch over here. Turn this on. We're good to go. Oh, there we go. I didn't have my uh, two outside ones on. Okay, I didn't want to auto steer. That's fine. You don't need to. So I'm the last big chunk of this field right now. And the wheat, I swear, is coming up taller and taller. It wasn't this tall this morning back here, but it's tall here now. 
five days ago there wasn't hardly anything here. Now there is. We can pop it up to third gear. I bumped it up to third gear because this is all pretty flat. By pretty flat, I mean uh, the side hill's real, but the uh, up and down's not so bad. And this is kind of a steep downhill right here, but nothing a jig brake can't hold me back with. Or from. I'm going 14 miles an hour right now. It's my top speed. Back her down just a little bit. 13's more like it. I say that and bump it right back up to 14. I'm trying to get this done. I have a thousand. 57 acres it said probably more like a thousand here which is gonna be about 1500 gallons I do believe or so since this is so steep I'm just gonna go up a side hill not straight up and down it I'm trying to go straight up and down something doesn't work very good But not very good, I mean, at all. Oh, my diff locks are on, so I can't make this corner. Oh, maybe. Nope. I'm just gonna go back down this. This could be A B. Like right here, I could have said an A and a B. And just do it. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna go over here, hit this one. Oops. Hit that one, go to straight. And it'll just let me set an A B. So here we go. A. And floor it. You gotta go a ways before it lets you get a, a B. So here we go. A, oh, oh, that's the A, okay. That's fine. Just keep my straight line in the distance where I'm trying to be. Okay, good enough. Now, there we go. Now I'm on it. Autopilot engaged. I'm gonna go straight up this hill pretty much. But pretty much, I don't mean pretty much, I mean exactly. I'm gonna go up this hill. Straight up it. There goes third gear. Now going this direction, I go down and up through all these draws pretty evenly. That way I don't uh, rub in the back. I don't rub my booms on the ground, I mean. And in the bottom of these draws, I go slow. Not because it's bumpy at the bottom, but just give my boom time to react to the ground. See how close it is to the ground? Yeah, came within an inch right there probably. And it's bended back because I got a worn pin over there. I'm trying to get that fixed. Over here, it doesn't bend back, you can see. So it's raining. Very rarely can you spray anything while it rains, but I'm doing it now. Now since I straightened out this whole piece right there, I'm gonna go back on this line here to my left. So I'm gonna cut up this hill. Flip around. Oh, there's a skip down there. Nope, that's the eyebrow. Never mind. Flip around. 
hit play. As soon as I get through this draw. There we go. Didn't hit. We're good. She's a bumpy one. Exhaust brake isn't quite holding me back. I need to tap on the brakes once, tap on the brakes twice. We're good. Revs dropped. Revs are going to increase right here again for a second. And then we'll go up this hill. Oh, about jumped it right there. That was nice. There we go. So I don't think I've done that much today. Uh, 400 acres at this point. I've sprayed. I would like to be up to like 600 right now. I'm gonna gear down for this hill. This is soft and smushy. And I made it through. Going back up now. Exhaust brake off and flooring it. I think I'll bring it back up to third gear now. this hill there ain't nothing nothing else to do about it just put it in auto steer third gear here we go nope second gear now and made it in second no problem Whenever I start thinking I'm going really fast, I just think about the planes and how fast they go. And they only spray three to four gallons a, per acre. I'm out here pouring uh, 10 gallons an acre on it. It's like twice the rates. But I'm only going like one tenth their speed. Maybe they go 100 miles an hour. I'm going 14. So what is that? One eighth of their speed. So really, I'm only going an eighth of the speed of a plane in my tractor. 15% <laughs> so of the plane speed. Uh, most tractors go about 1% of a plane speed, but that's fine. So there's an easier way to turn on and off these windshield wipers. So they're either on low all the time or high all the time. All right, since I just got this all straightened out, now I gotta go to one end of it and head back the other way. So I'm just gonna break it loose. I gotta choose the other end because it's the closest. One we're headed at now. One nice thing about this is there's no dust. While it's sprinkling like this, and dust can really interfere with the ionization of the spray particles. So the Roundup particles or whatever, they get fused and bonded with the particles from, oh, right over this soft spot again. Well, whatever. Whee. 
So I get fused, like I said, and then they don't, they're ineffective when they ionize or whatever you want to call it. got a perfectly straight line everything to the right now just needs to be done so I can just go to the end turn around and come back down this line it's very simple a B type of stuff not a whole lot of swinging booms not a whole lot of anything just straight lines this put most people to sleep straight lines like this but our straight lines go up and down and up and down <laughs> it's a straight northwest or north-south line, but it's not a straight actual line. It's a straight line when you're looking from above. How about that? So again, I want to give time for this thing to adjust. this <laughs> every row is different every line is different every field is different but I've been here before everything's not a new day for me now I'm actually starting to get experience on these fields so I know the right a B lines to choose and stuff oh there it just touched that's not good it's just as up as it goes. So I gotta lift it up. That's yeah, not good. Yeah, now I need to uh, go out with that. Out, outer, out. No, well, it just didn't go down. Well, put it back down. Talk about having the right AB line. This obviously isn't the right AB line if that just happened. Next time I go through it, it won't be so severe, so that won't happen. Sometimes it doesn't look like it's gonna do that, but then it does. That's why I like to go slow through stuff like that. So if that happens, it happens at a slow speed, I'm able to fix it. That's also why I don't like ABs, because if I drive it by hand, I could swerve and I could make it the right angle, you know? Like right now, what I'm doing. Trying to get through this. Whee. I'm gonna have to go straight here. There we go. That's again, so that doesn't rub on the ground. What the heck, dude? Yeah, it's even less. Good. I just want to build up this edge. Jeez, where is this edge? <laughs> okay. Didn't expect to have to come down this far, but we're on it. Well, at least it's not leaning back so far now. This needs to be fixed. So always we'll wait till next week type of deal. 
Well, then, that's, next week never comes. good. Shut off those diff locks. I can't make a very tight corner. There we go. Oh, nope, still. Still can't turn. There we go. That's letting me turn hard. Got enough for another, another couple passes. lines and then I'm running this edge so I can get two passes up on it so I can go back and forth better. Got to build up an edge is what we call it. You got to build up one side of the field. my AB line I'm trying to get on to. So I'll get lined up with it. Hit play and it should just slide right on it. Mm, a little bit too far in, but we're good. 235 gallons, 234, Touched the ground with my boom last time. Let's hope like that doesn't do it as that again. Let's second gear. Oh yeah, we're good. Plenty good. Wish your wiper is spastic at the maximum setting. Holy cow. Since I have an option right now of coming back down this on any line I want, I'm looking over here, and that line right here is so soft and so steep. But I think that's probably where I'm gonna end up coming down at, coming back down that line. So I just might see a little bit of steep and softness right here. I mean, this is a little bit steep and soft. I'm about to climb, but I think I can do it. I need to take it off automatic. I can. We're good. We're good. Get it back on automatic now that it's through the softest part. And I can handle it. So I'm gonna skip maybe two lines. Take that third line back. The 
flocks are on. Can't turn that sharp. There's the first line. I'm going over it right now. There's the second line. I'm going over it right now. Now I'm turning, getting on this third line right here. Now this line should just take me straight to up there or I'll drop off. This is basically the bank out road that I'm on right here. This is like where we drive our wagons at or pull our wagons out with our tractors. So it looks like it might not be that steep, this line. I might have chose a little bit too far in. Oh no. Oh no, we're going down off this. All right, so I did choose a good line. It's not that steep of a line though. That line over there, if I would have just skipped one, that would have been the line. I got that tame line right here. Barely dropping into this side hill. I'm gonna build this up right here. It's not normally that I do this, but I wanna do it this time. So I know that it's steep up here. That online needs to be more up. Yeah, Cause I know this is steep off this side of this. So I'm empty or low right now, so I'm gonna do what I can right here. And then I'm gonna skip one, and I'm gonna go down that steepest part. By steepest, I mean the steepest side hill. It's definitely side hill I'm gonna be doing over there. make a lot more decisions on a field that's pretty steep as opposed to a flat field. Decisions are limited there. I'm not saying that they're infinite on the steep stuff, but taking your life in your own hands out here. machine got 85 gallons on me and I need it when I go down this hill because I am not going down this hill on this line twice no way I'm gonna leave the diff locks off it's the first little bit of it if I need them I'll turn them on I don't like to run them all the time if I don't need to use them I try not to use them This one's gonna drop down off this side hill and straight down also. I just wanna break it loose. Let's see what it does with the autopilot engaged. 
slide straight sideways. Autopilot will say it doesn't know what to do. So I'm gonna take over, throw it back on the line, and we're good. Ah, that was easy. Done it a million times. Another one of them side hills. I guess I should have stayed on that line. <laughs> there we go. And that's how the side hills are done. And a victor. That'll probably do it for now. If I don't check back in, you guys have a good one.